Hi, I'm Big Potato Will, and here's how to play our rhyming party game, Go on a Boat. Right, first things first, split into two big teams. Next, shuffle the rhyming pair cards and lay them out face down, like this. There are seven rhyming pairs in total. The team that finds the most wins. To start, choose a player to go first and have them roll the die. If they roll a green, they take a describe it card. If it's pink, it's a solve it card. And when it's yellow, they take an act it card. Now one player has 30 seconds to get their team to guess as many rhymes as they can. Meanwhile, the other team keeps an eye on the time. Here's how the cards work. Play a describe it card and your job is to describe the rhymes to your team without using any of the words on the card. For example, the glass slipper princess is sick after eating raw chicken. For every rhyme you get right, the other team makes a mark on the score pad. Now quickly move on to the next rhymes on the card before time's up. If the team gets stuck, you can pass on one rhyme per round. If you finish the card and still have time, grab a new one. Play a solve it card by reading out the riddles in bold and get your team to shout out the rhymes. For example, a giant gorilla is competing at table tennis. For every rhyme they get right, you win a point. If it's an act it card, get ready to mime. Start by showing your team the name on the back of the card. Now start acting out the rhymes on the other side, without saying a word. Snow White flying a kite, in a fist fight, and using a flashlight. Whenever you complete a line of three on the score pad, you get to turn over two rhyming pair cards. If they don't match, turn them back over. But if they do match, your team gets to keep them and hunt for a new pair until they go wrong. Now it's the other team's turn. Grab the stopwatch and hand them the die. The game ends when all the rhyming pairs have been found. The team that collects the most wins. And that's how to play Go on a Boat, the rhyming charades game with the strange sounding name.